Hey guys, Samraj here for GIS Nepal bringing you an unboxing of the recently launched ZTE Blade V7 Lite. So without any further delay, let's get straight into the video. Here we go! Here we have the ZTE Blade V7 Lite in its white box. Let's quickly go through it. Various company and phone branding can be found all over the box. Ok now let's gently lift the lid of the box. There we go. And the first thing we are greeted by is the phone itself. Let's quickly put that aside for a while and go through the other contents inside the box. Pulling the tab, the first thing we see is a quick start guide. We then have some warranty cards which we will not go through. Next we have a pretty decent looking earphone. Let's keep it aside and the next item in the box is a micro USB cable used for data transferring and charging your phone. And the final item inside the box is a power brick to charge the device. So that's all for the contents inside the box. Now let's move it all aside and get to the phone itself. So guys, this is the ZTE Blade V7 Lite in all of its glory. First of all, let's get the protective plastic off of this device. Let's do it slowly as taking the wraps off of a device is always satisfying. Initial impressions, the device feels good in the hands and also is super lightweight. It also looks gorgeous with its unibody aluminium construction. Now let's power the device on and while it's doing that, let's go through the physical aesthetics of the phone. Up front we have a 5 inch IPS display with HD resolution giving it a pixel density of 294 ppi. Above the display we have an earpiece, a 8 megapixel front camera accompanied by a flash and some sensors. Below the display we have 3 backlit capacitive keys for back, home and menu. On the right side of the device we have a slot for your SIM cards and a micro SD card. Below that we also do have a power button. On the right side of the device we just have a volume rocker. At the bottom of the phone we have a micro USB port and a primary microphone. And at the top of the device we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the back we have a 13 megapixel rear camera with an LED flash. Just sitting below the camera is a passive fingerprint reader. At the bottom we have a pair of speakers and some company branding. So that's about it for the physical aesthetics of the phone. Now let's move on to the phone itself. Since it has been turned on, let's quickly go through the setup process. It may take a while so I'll be back once it is done. So here we have the Blade V7 Lite all booted up. The phone seems to be running very smoothly all thanks to its MediaTek MT6753P processor backed up by 3GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. Let's also quickly check what build of Android this phone is running. Let's go to the setting, scroll down and click on about devices. The phone seems to be running Android 6.0 Marshmallow with ZT's own custom skin, MeFavor UI on top of it. And powering this device all up is a non-user removable 2500mAh power battery. Overall, I like the phone and I am amazed by its build quality. The phone also runs very smoothly and was able to handle multitasking like a champ. For a price of Rs 18,890, it is amazing how ZT could pack such a well-built phone and a fingerprint scanner. This definitely looks to be one of the best smartphone under Rs 20,000 here in Nepal. So that's about it for this video guys. I will be using this phone as my daily driver for the next week or so and will definitely give you guys a full review once I'm done. For that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want a ZTE Blade V7 Lite of your own, you can buy it from any official ZTE store across the nation. For this festive season, ZTE is offering a Rs 700 cash back and a 10,000 mAh Ross power bank with every purchase of the phone. This definitely is a sweet deal I wouldn't miss out on.